Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a review of this uh, Toshiba microwave. Uh, I just want to mention that uh, I purchased the product on Amazon. I don't have to say good things or bad things about it. So uh, let's get into the detail. So the finish of the product is quite uh, interesting. It has this metal uh, uh, front and uh, you can see inside through the screen. The sides are black made uh, from uh, metal. It's a uh, uh, black matte and uh, I find that this one uh, it will be a bit difficult to clean because uh, uh, of the fingerprint that you can live on. This is how uh, deep it is compared to my medium size hand. The ventilation of this uh, microwave is on the right hand side and I suggest uh, not to cover this one in any way. This is the view from the back as you can see we have the power cable over here. Here is the engine and here is the speci uh, all the specifications of the microwave as we can see there is a uh, 23 liter and the power is 800 watts this is how you open it and you close it it's pretty standard for a uh, microwave it's like any other regular microwave the length of the cable i found to be quite decent as you can see i think it's like uh, one meter and a half and i will show you right now what uh, we can fit inside this is a, a medium sized plate and if we open, as you can see, this one is, it fits perfectly. And uh, here we have a large plate that also fits inside. I think this is, uh, you, you can get even a uh, slightly bigger plate than this one. And uh, what is inside, like any regular microwave, we have the interior plate, which is this size compared to my medium size hand. So now let's talk about the most important feature on this uh, microwave because uh, pretty much the rest is uh, like any other microwave and um, this is the menu it's a touch screen menu and you have different options over here so let's start uh, with the first one as you can see here we have the clock and if you press this one every time you're gonna hear a beeping and using the but the numbers you can adjust the time for example let's say it's uh, uh, 04 and here we put 21 and then um, to set this up you have to press clock again so it's a uh, 4 21 a.m and if you will change you have to press again and let's put uh, for example 11 uh, uh, 51 and then you have to press clock again and basically that's it you can also set the time cook which basically means that you can uh, uh, set up uh, a certain uh, uh, time Let's say, for example, I'm going to put 11 seconds and uh, uh, 1 minute and 15, for example, or uh, I want to put 15, 20. So basically using, using this, uh, 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 this pad, the numeric pad, you can uh, adjust the timing. And to go back, we press stall the time stop or cancel. Uh, we have the way to defrost. And on this one, uh, you can put also the time and you press start. And every time you want to go back, you have to press uh, stop or cancel. Uh, we have the power. I'm not really sure what this one does. Time we've been through and kitchen timer. This is an interesting feature. Uh, for example, I want to set it to, let's say, 5 minutes and uh, 12 seconds. And if I press start, it will do the countdown and it will beep at the end. So this is very helpful in any kitchen. So now I'm going to show you other functions of the menu. As we can see here, we have popcorn, we have potato, we have pizza. And if we press, uh, uh, we have to go back. And if we press the popcorn, we get a certain amount of uh, size, I suppose. Because if we press it one more time, then we go for a small popcorn or big popcorn. And if we press start, the time is different. I'm going to show you one more time. If we press popcorn again for a smaller portion, it's 1 minute and 35. Okay, we press stop. Um, pizza is the same this is one size and if we press for a bigger pizza or maybe you know, we want to keep the pizza longer the timing is different all the time when you want to press uh, when you want to go to the main menu you have to press stop or cancel and uh, we have for example uh, dinner plate this is uh, I suppose the size of the plate or basically how long you want to keep it inside because if you press the dinner plate one more time you see 350 and uh, 500 the time is different based on this uh, uh, number over here this is uh, for example for, for 500 uh, it shows six minutes and I'll show you one more time for example for 350 that's significant is one minute and a half less 
Okay, using the numeric pad, you can uh, uh, start the quick, uh, the, basically it's express cooking. So if you want to get, let's say, three minutes instantly, you just press uh, on three and uh, it starts. And uh, let's say you want uh, six minutes, then it starts with six minutes. And if you want to add uh, some more time, you just, uh, while it's working, you can press uh, start and it adds uh, 30 seconds. Now, uh, using uh, only, only this one, which is in the square, you can use the express cooking and the combinations to get um, the time. If you press these buttons, they will not do anything. These ones will do in, in, uh, in other uh, section of the menus. One other thing that I would like to show you, which I consider to be very important, is how stable it is. So I'm gonna put both hands and I'm trying to move it. I cannot move it with one hand. The rubber legs uh, uh, keep it stable. And uh, yeah, basically that's it. Also, I'd like to show you how easy it is to clean because uh, we get fingerprints all over the screen and also on this metal part. My suggestion is to take uh, just a regular um, kitchen towel, just a bit wet and uh, you just rub it uh, regularly and uh, basically all these marks should uh, disappear. Uh, mind that every time you open it, even though uh, your hands are clean, you still get some marks on uh, this side and obviously uh, also on the screen. Uh, on the menu uh, section, uh, you don't get so many fingerprints because it's, co it's covered with some kind of plastic, which is uh, really good. This is the overview of the microwave for you guys to make an impression of how it uh, looks like. Uh, what I like about it is the, the main design, that it has this uh, um, nice uh, finish at the front. And I like also that the menu is a touch screen, even though I would prefer to have a wheel. This is how it looks on the inside. It's pretty standard for, uh, for a microwave. You get the light from one side which is here, and uh, if you close it while it's on, I will show you right now, uh, the light goes on, which is uh, the same, pretty standard. So uh, I hope you find this video helpful, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next time.